Central Queensland is a huge hunk of coastal plains, mountain ranges, great river catchments, some of Australia's richest fisheries and barrier reef tourist destinations. Central Queensland is driven by the huge reserves of coal lying beneath its ancient skin. The resources boom is driving the region forward into the future and prosperity. Rockhampton claims to be the beef capital of Australia. This is a statement that few will challenge. Beef from the region fills the dinner plates of the world. Broadacre and irrigation developments supply grains and oilseed crops into the global marketplace. The Fitzroy Basin, a huge area of 156,000 square kilometres, is made up of a complex weave of rivers and creeks flowing from the eastern steeps of the Great Dividing Range. Rivers like the Dawson flow for hundreds of kilometres before joining to form the slowing deep waters of the Fitzroy that in turn flows into the Pacific. The Fitzroy Basin is a really diverse and beautiful place. It's one of the key things about it is that it's um, got the Fitzroy River running through it which drains into the um, Great Barrier Reef Lagoon and because of that you know, what we do on the land really, really affects the Fitzroy River and what's going to happen to the reef eventually. It is amazing as you travel across this landscape. There's the grazing industries, there's the extractive industries like the coal. Then you head down into where they, you know, grow the, grow the broad acre crops and the irrigated crops. You've got cotton, um, wheat, sorghum, lucin. It is this, this amazing diversity from this amazing place that, um, you know, keeps keeps people here and, and keeps the economy humming. With the onward churn of progress, landholders, farming operations, environmental and timber reserves, communities, the commercial and recreational fishing industries have to make decisions to manage their natural resources in harmony with other interests to ensure the ongoing economic and environmental sustainability of the region. Land managers across the Fitzroy Basin are represented by localised community, industry and interest groups. These individuals, through their groups, are brought together under the Fitzroy Basin Association, or FBA, a large regional body recognised by state and federal governments. The Fitzroy Basin Association gives the land managers and stakeholders of this broad area a voice, a voice listened to at the highest levels in Brisbane and Canberra, a broad management that ensures a strategic flow of federal and state funds into on-ground works and projects in the region, works that ensure economic sustainability while looking after the rivers and landscapes of this place we call home. A community-endorsed regional investment strategy directs FBA's management of the tens of millions of dollars invested in sustainability and improved biodiversity within the region. Fitzroy Basin Association, through a network of land care and catchment groups, works closely with people on the land, local government, urban and rural communities to improve land, air, water quality and biodiversity. FBA arranges support and funding for research projects to build knowledge about the region. Property planning and mapping support, including extension and information publications, to stimulate and support on-ground projects like strategic fencing and weed control, and training and capacity building to help ensure ongoing sustainability within the region. FBA's board is made up of a diverse group of people who bring to the table a wide range of skills and backgrounds. FBA actively engages with the indigenous community in the region to participate in natural resource planning and projects. 
The group identifies with and helps resolve natural resource management issues, protecting the landscape from current and future threats to maintain the sustainability of industries and communities. The Fitzroy Basin Association works with the community to maintain productive land, adequate water supplies, vigorous and viable communities in a healthy and biodiverse landscape. It's filled with really diverse and, and fascinating people. We're you know driven by the extractive industries but we're also being fed from you know people produce the, the beef and the grains and, and the cotton for our clothes. It's a place that satiates your every need and it's a wonderful place to live and work in.